Epilepsy is a common neurological disease. It affects about 1% of the population and it's characterized by seizures. Left untreated, epilepsy is serious. Every time an individual has seizures, nerve cells can die. And depending on the severity of your seizure, this can be a mild impairment through to quite catastrophic consequences. Well, it's uh, surprising, I think, from the outset that we can do this work in fruit flies. But it's important to understand that all animals have a nervous system and the basic mechanisms of how the nervous systems work is the same in all animals. The fruit fly Drosophila has particular advantages because we can really get inside the genetics of the animal. So we found, uh, for us, a really quite startling result. We showed that by manipulating nervous system activity whilst the fly is developing as an embryo, prevented the fly from ever going on to show seizures, even though these flies were genetically mutated to normally produce seizure. We manipulated nervous system activity using a relatively new technique, a technique called optogenetics. This allows the experimenter to control nervous system activity using light. The same genes, when mutated in humans, also lead to genetic epilepsies. So although it's some way off and technically would be slightly more demanding, we should be able to control the nervous system of developing human embryos to achieve the same result. So the advantage of our technique, if it would translate to humans, is that the individual affected would never develop epilepsy, which means they would never have to rely on drugs to control their seizures. But we have to stress that it's not a cure for people who already have epilepsy. So uh, there's no benefit to individuals who have epilepsy and it won't be effective against the types of epilepsy that are caused from other uh, roots, such as head injury or uh, other diseases that cause epilepsy during life. So it's our hope now to secure additional funding to try to translate the work we're doing into a mouse model. So we have colleagues here at Manchester who work with mouse seizure models. These are the same sort of genetic mutations but in the mouse. They too go on to seizure and we need to start to intervene early during the embryonic development of those mouse pups to see if we can prevent those seizures from ever occurring.